everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Amy and today's video is gonna be all about our family's Christmas traditions so Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year I just love everything about Christmas I love the decorations the lights um, I don't love the cold but I live in the south we're in Savannah so it's not super cold here um, it's definitely colder than I would like obviously but everything else I really love about Christmas but my family and I, we are Christians, so we celebrate this time of year to, um, or we take this time of the year to celebrate the birth of our Savior Jesus and all that he's done for us. And we also use it to make sure to spread joy and love to others throughout all of our Christmas traditions and throughout the entire month. I know it's something that we should be focused on all year round, but we do take this time to make sure that we are overly generous and kind and go out of our ways to make others feel the love of Jesus. So really quick before we jump into all of our family's traditions, my name is Amy if you're new and I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. I hope that you enjoy this type of content. Um, I do lifestyle, motherhood, vlogs, day in the life, cleaning videos on my channel, just a big mix of everything that I enjoy and love. So I hope that you guys will love my content as well and go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, if you love Christmas, I would love for you guys to give this video a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy videos like this. All right, so our family's first Christmas tradition is to decorate the Christmas tree all together and I've already shown you guys a video of us decorating our Christmas tree. Um, we usually do this the day after Thanksgiving or a couple days after Thanksgiving. Usually it's like right after we get back and settled because we usually go visit my family for Thanksgiving. But this year we decided to do it the week before Thanksgiving. Now that I am on YouTube and um, I feel like I'm trying to give you guys good content and things that I think would be helpful. So um, we did end up decorating our Christmas tree early this year and I absolutely loved it just because when we did get home from Thanksgiving, I felt like we weren't rushed to try to get all of our stuff done within the week before December 1st because we have a ton of busyness going on once December gets here. So I think our new tra tradition will be to do our Christmas tree sometime in November, definitely before Thanksgiving. It may end up being even earlier next year, but on our Christmas tree, we have lots of different ornaments. I talked all about it in my video, which I'll link up here, but we do a personalized Christmas ornament each year. We have yet to get ours for this year, but we're gonna get it within the next week or so and get that on the tree but we also have lots of um the kids have made lots of ornaments over the years and just things like that so as we're decorating our christmas tree we like to put on christmas music and um, go through all the ornaments and kind of talk about what each ornament was from and the kids absolutely love this christmas tradition the second Christmas tradition that we have been doing for several years now is Elf on the Shelf. And our elves, we actually have two now. We have Snowflake, which is the girl, and Buddy, which is the boy. And we just got Snowflake last year, so before that it was just Buddy. But we've had them for probably four years, probably had Buddy for about four years. Um, but they come on December 1st, and with that, they bring a North Pole breakfast for the kids. So at their North Pole breakfast, they have some fun food and then um, they always get like a little basket or bucket or something that has little goodies for them most of them are from the Dollar Tree and then they also get their Christmas pajamas at their North Pole breakfast because Chance and I decided to change up our own family tradition both of us grew up opening our Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve and we loved it and we didn't really want to change that but after talking about it, it was just a lot of fun to be able to give the kids their Christmas pajamas on December 1st so that they could wear them all Christmas, um, all month long. So we decided to completely change our old family tradition and so now they get their Christmas pajamas on December 1st. But going back to Elf on the Shelf, our kids love Elf on the Shelf. They watch the movie all year long. They don't care if it's Christmas time or not, they're watching the movie. But our elves come on December 1st, like I said, and then each day they usually do something or might leave the kids a note, remind them to do something kind for someone or do something silly. 
Um, some days they just end up moving and the kids just love waking up in the mornings and being able to go find their elves and see what kind of mischief they got into. The third Christmas tradition that I got a lot of questions about actually from our Christmas house tour. If you did not see that one, I'll link it up here as well. But um, in the Christmas house tour, I talked about this a little bit, but it's our devotion that we do each night during the month of December. So the first through the 24th is what when we do this. And it's just called A Meaningful Christmas. I'll leave a link down in the description box in case you guys want to check this out. But it's written by Carrie Rogers and Brittany Poe. And I actually got this six years ago. So we've been doing this for six years. Now the kids have not got, like they didn't understand it all six years. But what I did was um, Carrie and Brittany came up with this whole idea of having a devotional for each night. And then with your devotional, you put a specific ornament on the tree that reminds you of the lesson that you've learned. So when I first did this, this, is, this will be really fun, but you probably will have to plan this for next year if you're wanting to do it. So what I did was I found 23 other women that wanted to do this with me. And what you do is it'll tell you in your... Um, in the whole guide that they send you and it probably looks different than this now because like I said it's been six years but and they also have a they have several different ones too but um, on each night a, a woman was assigned a night and then you told them what they were supposed to make for that ornament so for example one night there's an Alpha and Omega symbol for remembering Alpha and Omega for another one, there's a globe. For another one, there's a cross. So they came up with their own. They had to be creative. And there's def a lot of things on Pinterest that gave them ideas too. Because, and especially now, since it's been out for so long, um, I'm sure that there's a ton more on there. But pretty much you make 24 of the same ornament. And then you have, I hosted a big gathering at my house. And all the women came and brought all of their ornaments. And then we did a huge ornament swap. So then we also made, I made little buckets for each family and I just put their names on it. And then this is where we keep all of our ornaments. So for example, one day was a rainbow. So we have the rainbow and we wrote the day on the back. So this is day seven. And so that way when you're going through, it's super easy to figure it out. Um, Let's see, one day was a shepherd. So as you can see, they were all handcrafted ornaments. So every single woman created 24 of the same ornament. We did a huge ornament swap, took our baskets home to our families, and we can put it on our trees every single night. Now for our kids, we have their own Christmas tree, and I talked about this too in our Christmas house tour. But we have, it's called the green and gold tree, and we the gold is to remind us of God's love for us, and then the green is to remind us to be fruitful and spread God's love to everyone that we meet. So we have their own little tree. It's got gold ornaments and green ribbon on it, and it's just a tiny little tree that we keep up in their playroom. And so each night, that is where these ornaments go when we get done doing our devotional. And the kids absolutely love it. I feel like they learn a lot from it. Um, and like I said, I think Kaysen was only like one when we did this whole ornament swap for the first time when I found out about it. And obviously at that point, he didn't know anything about it. Um, he didn't understand it. But each year, they, it gets better and better. And plus, it's just fun to do it. Even if you and your husband are just reading it aloud to your kids, I feel like it just gets you in the mood and reminds you what Christmas is all about and the true meaning of Christmas. So um, definitely look into that if you are interested in doing it for next year. All right, and the last Christmas tradition that I'm gonna share with you guys today is our Random Acts of Christmas Kindness. So it's called RAC. And um, it's Random Acts of Christmas Kindness. It's kindness that you show during the month of December and it's the 1st through the 24th or the 25th, whatever you wanna do. But um, I just always make a calendar and I will link this calendar below as well. But on the calendar, I will put out what our random act of kindness is for that day. And I try to make it to where some of them are pretty simple to do and then some of them do require some prep work beforehand. So the first day of the first day of December, for example, we have hugs for everyone. So that's 
super easy to do. I don't have to plan anything. Um, I know that our North Pole breakfast will be on that day, so we have a lot going on. We have Christmas parade, all of that to go to. So I wanted something that was gonna be super simple for the kids to do and didn't require any prep, but also something that made other people feel all the love of Christ and just feel like they were overwhelmed with joy as we went throughout our day and the kids were able to show that to people. So that's what that one is, is hugs for everyone. But then there are other things throughout the month like donating toys, um, taking baked goods to the fire station, to the school, um, buying ice cream for a friend. We also, at one point during, um, at one night, I end up making like baskets for the delivery drivers that come from like UPS, um, Post, U, United States Postal Service, FedEx, all those different people. I put two different baskets up on my porch and put waters and snacks and things like that in the baskets so that they can grab those whenever they want. It's one day that I actually put it out there, but I do I end up leaving it out there for until they're all gone and they're done with all their snacks because you guys know that it's probably crazy during Christmas for all those workers and they probably have to do double, if not triple the amount of deliveries. So anyways, we just do these random acts of kindness throughout the month. And I do have a printable below in case you want to download this actual sheet so you and your family could do those together. But last year what I did was I ended up cutting out each of these little squares and making an advent calendar. I showed you guys in my dining room I have this little house and each of the drawers you can open. So I would cut out the squares and I would put them in the number that it goes to and that was their advent calendar. So my kids didn't have an advent calendar that had candy or anything like that. I know I had that growing up, but I thought it would be fun to put these little random acts of kindness in there so they could get excited about what kind of random act of kindness they were gonna do that day. So each day they will go and pull it. Now some days do get crazy and um, we might miss a day, but we try to make it up. So maybe we end up doing two in one day. So especially the simple ones, like if we were not anywhere that day for, it says December 2nd, open doors for others. So for example, if we were at home all day, yeah, you could open the door at home for your sister or your brother or whatever, but we will try to do that throughout the week too if we missed that particular day. So I hope that makes sense. Don't be too strict with it because um, you don't want it to feel like a burden, but um, it is nice to give to others during this month and see the joy that it brings to them and that is why we do this but like I said you can get this downloadable print PDF down below I'll leave the link for that in case you want to try it all right and then of course we have other traditions like we go to the Christmas parade each year we have we do a gingerbread a gingerbread house each year I can't talk today sorry um, and then we go visit Santa each year. Usually we go to Bass Pro to visit Santa, but this year we're actually doing a Santa brunch with my mother-in-law. And um, so we'll visit that Santa and since we'll get a picture, we're not gonna go to Bass Pro. We also go to, our church has, every other year they'll do, um, it's called The Journey and it's like a walk through Bethlehem sort of thing. You get to see um, this whole play it's not really a play, but you walk through and they have it all set up and there are people that are dressed up as people that were in the village or there's a Mary and Joseph and a baby. So you go through the whole journey of Bethlehem and the birth of Jesus and that's really cool. They do it every other year. And then on the year that they don't do the journey, they do some sort of Christmas play. So we do that every year too. And this year we are actually going to be serving at the journey. So we're gonna dress up as some of the village people. The kids are gonna get to dress up. And it's gonna be a really neat experience because we've never served at it before just because we didn't know that if the kids were old enough or if they could handle being out there that long. But they're really excited to be actors in the journey. So that'll be fun too. 
But yeah, so those are all of our Christmas traditions. I hope this video was fun for you guys to watch and kind of get some ideas of things that you could possibly do with your family. I would love to know if you have any Christ Christmas traditions that you guys do every single year. I, like I said, love this time of year and love hearing about all of your family's traditions and what you guys have going on. I know it's a busy time, but I want to encourage you guys to just slow down, enjoy it with your families, and just remember what Christmas is all about and hopefully spread joy to others as well. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!